For an abundant harvest of strawberries, the soil needs to be cleaned of impurities and loosened well. First we raise the soil on one side and then on the other. Then follows the leveling and tamping of the surface on which we will plant the strawberries. The easiest way to do this is with a regular rake. Why we do this? Strawberries like water, but not underground or stagnant water, so we raise a small natural bed. We can deepen the groove a little more so that the foil does not pull out. By creating the right conditions for your plants, you can ensure they grow strong and healthy, producing the most delicious and juicy strawberries possible. The best positions for strawberries are those that are not exposed to the wind and shade. Do not plant tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, or turnips right next to strawberries because they lead to the accumulation of nematodes and other root pests and causes of root diseases. Once you make this form and base, every year you will get a bountiful harvest that you will be proud of. Strawberries are best suited to soil that has grown cereals, legumes, melons, and watermelons. If there is not enough moisture in the soil, the roots of the seedling do not grow well in the upper part of the soil. As a result, the plant does not branch out, and its overall growth and productivity decrease. Furthermore, the fruits that it bears remain small and of poor quality. The ideal watering of strawberries is the drip irrigation system. The surface layer of the soil dries out quickly, so due to the shallow roots, the soil should be continuously kept evenly moist. Strawberries need irrigation at the beginning of flowering, during ripening, and at the end of all harvests. In the resting phase, the amount of rain that falls is sufficient. Since strawberries are planted in a very dense structure and have a large leaf mass, the soil must necessarily contain 75 to 80 percent moisture when the vegetation starts. Just keep the soil moist and nutritious, and the plants will thrive despite the constant sun. Did you know that there are hundreds of varieties of strawberries? The most general division is into ever-bearing and juni-bearing, but they can also be early middle and late. Instead of the foil you see on the old strawberry bed, this time I chose a stronger ground cover. This plasticized weed blocker is much more durable, tear resistant, won't break down over time, and has good air and water permeability. You will find it via the link in the video description. I made the holes using a planting tool that I heated. I made holes for new seedlings with a similar tool. Simple and practical. If you're planning to till the soil, it's a good idea to add organic manure beforehand. I suggest using chicken pelleted manure. If you haven't fertilized before this stage, then one handful in each hole is enough. Strawberries can be propagated by seed, grafting, division of bushes and stolons. This is the division of bushes from stolons, and soon you will see how these bushes are made. We have three new bushes from this stolon. Once you grow strawberries, you will always have new stolon bushes. They can be planted throughout the year. The end of vegetation or biological zero for strawberries begins at temperatures below 7 degrees Celsius. When the temperatures stabilize above 7 degrees, within 25 to 30 days the strawberry ends the period of physiological dormancy and begins the normal vegetative and reproductive cycle. Planting strawberries in the spring starts when the danger of low temperatures and frost has passed. Strawberries are divided into varieties with large fruit and ever-bearing that do not produce stolons. Good neighbors for strawberries are red onions, garlic and dill, which protect strawberries from pests and diseases. All three of these cultures improve the taste of strawberry fruits, especially dill. Now, we put a handful of soil so the roots do not come into direct contact with the fertilizer we put in earlier. Strawberries are sensitive to the depth of planting, so make sure they are planted at the depth at which they grew in the nursery. Therefore, 
The top of the soil in the pot should be level with the top of the soil in which we plant them. Here, the strawberries undergo a strict inspection by Inky before planting. This bushy plant lives an average of 4 to 6 years, and its growth and development depend solely on the method and quality of cultivation. Strawberries need a lot of sun. The more sun your plants get, the bigger the strawberries will be. Don't worry about it burning, unless the temperatures reach more than 35 degrees Celsius. The strawberry plant prefers light fertile soil with a slightly acidic to neutral pH, and a well-lit location as it has shallow roots. Nitrogen and potassium supplementation is required in the leaf growth phase, and phosphorus and potassium in the pollination and fruit ripening phase. During flowering, plants need strength and protection, where iodine helps the most. In addition to the strength it gives, iodine prevents the formation of fungi, bacteria, and viruses. With this solution, we also prevent the occurrence of gray rot on fruits. If the soil is dry, always water first and then add the solution. Too high a concentration can lead to the burning of the plant. It can be added three times a month or every 10 days. The solution is made by adding one drop of iodine to every liter of water. It is necessary to remove all horizontal elongated stems, known as stolons or runners, which will appear after planting in the vegetation phase. Every 7 to 10 days you will find new stolons that need to be removed because they use up a lot of energy. They can be removed with scissors or a knife, do not try to pull them out because you can destroy the whole plant. If we do not do this, the stolons, flowers, and some fruits will greatly exhaust the plant, and such a plant will no longer be able to give us the maximum even with the best care. Already in the spring, when the runners or stolons start, we can place small pots for the new bushes. They can stand there until autumn, and then it is best to transplant them to a permanent place where they will grow. Already next year, you will have identical bushes that you are looking at right now, with lots of juicy fruits. The prerequisite is of course that you follow the same steps as in this video. In the first year after planting, it gives the highest quality yield and the most young seedlings. In the second year, the vegetative growth is weak, and the fruit yield is numerically maximal, but of somewhat lower quality. If you don't have a garden, why not to try planting in pots or some decorative items? It's easier than you think, just follow these advice and enjoy the same beautiful results. Have you planted strawberries before and what are your experiences and advice? For additional questions, I will be happy to help you in the comments. Follow me and hit the like button for more useful tips. Thanks for watching.